It's 2020, the first studio update for the new year and the new decade. Coming up next, we have the People's Choice for Tattoos of the Year, the latest in body piercing news and content news. So you, yeah you, should stick around. here with the body piercing news and content news of the week. Had a very busy week, did a lot of piercings, uh, had a four day week instead of a five day week, mainly because, uh, well, I took Monday off, uh, staffing issues and all kinds of craziness. Sorry if anybody needed to come in on Monday. Uh, sorry I missed you. I rarely ever take days off if anybody knows me and I'm sorry about that. Once again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Also in piercing news, uh, running a new special starting tomorrow on the 4th and running through the end of January. Come in. At time of payment, mention the special and the code word Jack Frost and receive $10 off either the piercing or group of piercings of your choice. Limit one per customer. Now, for uh, to find all the details, go to the link in the description. It's down there in the writing and the text and stuff. Now it's time for what we like to call content news. On Saturday, posted the latest episode of Pros and Cons by a piercer. That's me. This episode, I went through the pros and cons of getting one nipple piercing or both piercings done at the same time. If you are considering nipple piercings and kind of want a little insight into that, I really suggest you check out that video. On Sunday, posted the last installment of Tattoo Story Episode 2, uh, Sacred Heart, or uh, what do we call it? Oh, Cigarette Sacred Heart Tattoo, or Devo Gets Tattooed. Basically, if you haven't seen any of them, uh, Jack recently finished a tattoo that I had started, we had started years ago, and we went through the process. We showed some footage of that. We talked about that in advance, like kind of a pre-interview. And then uh, I did a video where I kind of went through the first roughly six days and kind of gave you an idea of what your tattoo should look like, what you should experience while healing that, that first week or so of healing a tattoo. That went up on Sunday. On Monday, we didn't post anything. The next video was yesterday on Thursday, posted the first video of the year. And this one was one of the Body Piercing Basics, episode, I believe, 50. God, I can't believe we've done 50 of them. Anyway, I continued with um, my explanation of aftercare uh, for body piercing. Uh, this episode, I went through abuse and things you don't want to use on your piercing, like as in solutions and products. If you're healing out of piercing or you're just curious, good video to check out. Tomorrow, we'll be posting the latest episode of Pros and Cons by a Piercer. Sunday, we won't be posting anything. Monday, hopefully another tattoo video, uh, probably Tattoo 101. Q&A will be coming back a week from Sunday, so look for that. We're going to be filming this week. And if you or you or you or, or you over there, do you have a question that you would like to see our panel answer. If so, leave the question in the comments, either on Facebook or YouTube, because we post on both. And maybe your question will be picked. What? Without further ado, it's time for the thing you've all been waiting for. Well, maybe for the last five minutes. The People's Choice for Tattoo of the Year 2019 from Wesley and Jack. And here is Wesley. Welcome back, guys. This is People's Choice of Tattoos for the year. Um, winter tattoo was the eyeball tattoo with some clock cans coming out of it. Um, hope you guys like it.
Hi, I'm Jack from Skin Kitchen Tattoo in Des Moines, Iowa, and the people have spoken, and they went against me. Yes, actually, the people's vote, they chose the medieval uh, back piece, uh, which is great. Uh, he is a super, super great client of mine. I've been tattooing him for years. Um, he's got sleeves we've done, and now the back piece, and things like that. So, and uh, and his wife is a is a great client as well. So, uh, congratulations to you, my friend. You uh, get your choice of anything that we offer on our uh, online store on the website. So, get on there, do some shopping, let us know what you want, and we will get it on the way for you. Uh, congrats to everyone who was nominated. It was a lot of fun seeing uh, what you guys picked and uh you know what uh, what you liked and uh, what you didn't like as much so uh, thank you so much for being involved in it and we will see you all soon have seen the people's choice for tattoo of the year 2019 that was exciting wasn't it you made it through this episode what's left for you to do if you're on facebook and you would like to see any of these videos that were mentioned on here go to our youtube channel it is linked in the description above if you're on youtube of course all the videos are linked in the description below on facebook give us a thumbs up and share this video with everyone you know, because that's your job. We've done ours. It's time for you to do yours. If you're on YouTube, uh, give us a thumbs up because we like it when you like it. And hit that subscription and notification bell if you haven't already. Uh, we post videos of this nature featuring tattoos, piercings, with a focus on education roughly four to five times a week. So to stay in tune hit that notification so you're notified every single time we post something. Also, if you're on Facebook, not a bad idea to like our page or, you know, go over there and, and just subscribe on YouTube and cut out the middleman. Right? Okay. Check out our merch store. We got plenty of t-shirts, coffee mugs, decals, throw blankets, and tapestries with designs by our artists here at Skin Kitchen and myself. Check it out. Lots of great stuff there. Link in the description. Till next time, here's hoping all your tattoos and piercings heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, we hope to see you for your body piercing and tattooing needs in the future. Seems like the future.